problem 16. In the figure below, choose point D on side length BC such that triangle ACD and ABD have equal perimeters. What is the area of ABD? So let's assume that this point D is right here. I have no idea. This is just an arbitrary point. So ACD, right, this triangle right here, have equal perimeters um, with ABD. So this one right here. What is the area of ABD? So let's first understand that that's 3, so this must be X. Right? And if I ever assume this to be y, then this would be 5 minus y. So we can set up a systems of equations here. We can say that 3 plus x plus 5 minus y must give x plus y plus 4. If we simplify this, what do we get? We get 8 plus x right, minus y must give x plus y plus 4. Now we can add y on both sides. So if you add y on both sides, this, this gets eliminated. We get a 2y here. If we, and then the x and x right here can cancel if you subtract x on both sides. So 2y must equal 4, so that means y must equal 2. That means this partition must be 2, and this partition must be 3. So now we're trying to find the area of ABD, which is um, right here. That's A, that's B, and that's D. This is 2, this is 4, and what is x? Well, x we actually do not know, right? We can only solve for y. But um, it doesn't really matter here, because... We can say here that this area plus this area is equal to the total area. Now, what is total area? The total area is 3 times 4 divided by 2. We can use Heron's formula in this case, but Heron's formula would be a bit too tedious. So let's try to think of another way that we can go about doing this. The area of this, we cannot use Heron's formula, because remember, Heron's formula involves a semi-perimeter, and a semi-perimeter, right, will give you 6 plus x divided by 2. That's a bit too complex. Let's think of another way. Another way here is to do this. Another way is to, if we, if we draw down this altitude, right, the area of this triangle will be this h, the altitude, times 2 divided by 2. So in other words, the area for this triangle would just be h. If we can solve for the h height, we'll be done. But what is the h height? Well, we know that h times 5 divided by 2 must give 3 times 4 divided by 2. Right? Because it's just two ways to solve for the same area. So that means 2 and 2 cancels. h must be equal to 12 over 5. That means the area for this triangle must be h, which is 12 over 5. Therefore, your final answer must be choice D.